Hey everyone, Vincent here from XVS Productions and welcome to another video tutorial. Today in this video tutorial, we're going to do be After Effects today and I'm going to teach you how to create this 3D space environment background as you see in front of you in Adobe After Effects. Very easy tutorial, I got many requests on this video tutorial so I'm finally going to do it right now. And now I want to say this is a very easy tutorial and that if I move forward in my timeline, you see that the particles do move and they're actually 3D. So this animation is 3D. Just to let you guys know, it's not 2D because space is actually in 3D space. If you want to create a 3D look, three-dimensional look to match your intro, your animation, or your text to make it look realistic somewhat. So just in advance, some information. And now before we get started, you're going to need to find a space image to use in this video intro introduction. One, because there is a, a very effective way on creating a space background, literally, in After Effects. So I'm going to be using a stock footage. This one right here, Cosmos Lightning. Now I'm going to put this link in the video description on the side. You have to register and download this image. Or you can create any other or use any other space image you want. You can use any royalty free space image. Whatever one you choose. I'll post a whole bunch on the side in the video description. Right now so you can choose what space background you want to use. But for, but for this video tutorial I'm going to use this one right here. The Cosmos Lightning. So let's begin. Let's create a new composition. Name it Main Comp. I'm going to put number 2, and I'm going to change width to 1280, height by 720, frame rate 29.97, and duration about 12 seconds long, then click OK. I'm going to make some room here, and I'm going to create a new background layer, a new black solid, so layer, new, solid, name it BG, make comp size, and make it black. Click OK, click OK again, you have a black solid as your background. Now let's click and drag in the space intro. Click and drag in the space background that you chose. It's a little bit too large, so we're going to scale it down by clicking the S on the keyboard and scaling it down. Somewhere around there. Now let's get the pointer tool again, and let's create a vignette. So let's go to layer, new, solid, create another black solid. Name it VIN, make comp size, black, click OK. Get the ellipse tool, hold down the left click on the rectangle tool and select the ellipse tool and create an ellipse on your image. Somewhere around there, change the mask to subtract. Click on the F on the mask and feather the mask out. A very easy basic technique. Speaking of basic, I will be creating a series of After Effects tutorials for beginners, so After Effects 101 for beginners. So if this video tutorial is a little bit too advanced for you, stay tuned because I will be making basic tutorials for beginners in Adobe After Effects. So stay tuned, subscribe. Just a quick note. So now you created your vignette and you have your background. I'm going to organize this a little bit. I'm, I'm going to click on the space background and apply an effect. Color correction curve. Now, this is a very universal technique. You need to adjust these settings accordingly to match your project. Do not copy my exact settings unless you're using the exact same projects and everything. But like I said before, I highly encourage you to use your own background and achieve your own looks. So adjust these settings to achieve the look that you're aiming for and not just copy exactly what I do in this video tutorial. Be creative. Somewhere around there, that's looking pretty good for me. I'm going to minimize this. Now let's create our 3D stars. As you see here, there's not many stars right now, and they're actually all 2D and flat. They're not moving. I'm going to move forward in the timeline to about 5 seconds. I'm going to go to the effects and presets. I'm going to search CC particle world. Found it under simulation. Let's create a new layer, an another block solid. Click on your composition, layer, new, solid. Name it star particles. Make comp size again, black, then click OK. Click and drag the CC Particle World effect from the Simulations tab. Click and drag it into the Star Particle layer. Now you have emitting particles. If you're seeing this, move forward in your timeline. You will see something like this that it's emitting. I'm going to change the grid to off. So now you have emitting particles. There are lines. I'm going to hit the 3D switch knob on the particle, Star Particle layer. So under the star particles, hit the 3D knob. You have something like this. Now let's go to the birth rate. I'm going to change it to 2. 
and longevity to 100. Now, if your composition is longer than 100 seconds, then basically you need to make the longevity longer than your composition. Let's go to the producers tab and increase all the radius. So the X radius, I'm going to increase it so it'll spread out a little bit more in 3D space. Spread it out. Now it's wide enough. Let's increase the Y radius to around there. Increase the Z radius. Now the Z radius is the most important part because we want to achieve a 3D look. So we want to increase the Z radius to make it seem like it's actually 3D and give it some depth. So somewhere around there, a 3D look. That's pretty good for now. Open the physics tab. Change the velocity to 0.25 or adjust it to your likings, inherit velocity at zero, and gravity at zero, because in space there is no gravity, so gravity at zero, and everything else looks good. Let's go to the particles tab, and change the particle type to shaded sphere. So now we have spheres. And what you want to do is increase the birth size to maybe about 0.440, Somewhere around there, like I said before, universal, just increase the size, birth size, according to your likings to achieve what you're aiming for. It looks pretty good to me. I'm going to change the depth size to maybe 0.3. That's looking pretty good. Now change the birth color accordingly. So I'm going to make my birth color of the stars maybe a white color because stars are generally white as we see it from Earth. And depth color to about a darker tint of white, so maybe a light gray. All right, now that you have your stars set up, what you want to do is click on the 3D knob on the space background. So my space JPEG, I'm going to change it to a 3D layer. And here, your background appears. Now, if you want to lower or put the star particles layer underneath the vignette, that should be on top always. So now you have your space background. And if you look closely, you can't actually see the stars. If you move forward, now apparently it's, it's a little bit too small, so what you want to do is increase the birth size a little bit. Maybe 0.8 and depth size to maybe 0.6. Now you can start seeing the particles. Max opacity, I'm going to put it to about 100. And size variation to 100 as well. That's looking pretty good, but we can stop here if we wanted to, but that's not going to look that great. So we're going we're gonna to apply a glow effect to our star particles. Go to Effect, Stylize, Glow. That gives it a little bit more details. Now adjust the glow settings accordingly to your likings. I'm going to leave it right there. Now that the glow is applied, I'm going to lower down the birth size. It's a little bit too thick, so maybe 0.6. Or maybe even 0.52. Now it has to, now it's looking a lot smaller, and if you move into the timeline, you see that your particles are actually moving, and it's looking pretty good. Now this is the very gist technique. Now, like I said before, you need to adjust these settings according to your likings to match your project, anyways. But that's how you do it using CC Particle World to create your stars and your glow effect. Now, of course, you can create a new camera and animate the background coming towards you since you're actually moving towards it to give it more a sense of realism, but that's just all basic technique. Now, of course, you can add your text, animate it, add linear wipes, add all that fancy in, um, animation in it, but for this video tutorial purposes, we're only going to create the space background, which we already did. Now, that's how you do it, and very basic tutorial. Stay tuned for more basic tutorials for beginners in After Effects. So thanks for watching, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe. Check out my channel for more After Effects tutorials. Stay tuned for more upcoming tutorials. And thanks for watching, guys.